frost. Time for a new mailbox. Let's see what we can do. Mailboxes are on this wooden frame and all the mailboxes might need some love and attention. This one smashed. Could use a good washing. And this frame could use a coat of paint. So let's clean it up. I'm gonna sand this down, get some new mailboxes and uh, apply a coat of some mildew resistant paint. See if we can make this thing last a bit longer. And maybe we'll get some new reflectors, we'll see. Because there's none on this side. There's nothing on this side. We got some odd screws and nails holding things in, so we'll see what we can do there too. Let's get started. Before I start sanding, I'm just gonna clean up around the base. We see we've got a lot of dirt, so just brushing down all the loose stuff just to clean it up a bit before we sand. This kills paint, uh, stain blocker, mildew resistant, that's good, and uh, goes on pretty easy. Got a wider brush to make this. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I use that kills paint and just hit a first coat, and it looks pretty good. Um, covers up a lot of the spots, a lot of the darkness. And it's a little tough to just make it even, but I think I'm gonna go over it either with more kills or maybe just get another exterior paint, I'm not sure. Um, took off some of the mailboxes, temporarily bungeed them back on. Some of the wood underneath here is a little rotten in some spots, but I think it's gonna, be, it's gonna hold up. The next thing is getting some stainless screws to secure it. And then in cases like this mailbox, um, or this one, I should say, since this one's kind of already fixed and I didn't remove it, but this one I removed. And um, you can see that the board is not as wide as the mailbox. So I'm gonna try and find some scrap wood that I can paint and uh, fill up the gaps. So that way, when securing, it'll you know actually secure. You can see on this mailbox, there's a nail you know go in the this gap here um you know it's secure but we'll see and again some mailboxes um, are just they you know just wide enough but some of these mailboxes are being replaced and for now i've just bungeed them back on since i took off all the screws so i got a new mailbox somebody in town was getting rid of it um much cheaper than buying it new i really like this color uh, i think it's about the right size and uh, what we need to do is remove their stickers and they have their address uh, it's on both sides i'm going to use a heat gun to get rid of these vinyl stickers and then because my mailbox is uh, where my mailbox is installed all the mailboxes are in a row can't see any stickers on the side anyway, so I'll get some some stickers for the front. I'll figure out how to either order them or make them myself. Um, yeah, so let's get the heat gun and see if we can scrape off all these vinyl numbers without damaging this beautiful paint. 
little Harbor Freight heat gun. I'm going to use the low setting uh, for now and see if that works and then uh, slowly apply the heat and then see if I can start picking these numbers off. Maybe just use my finger now. I don't I, a plastic scraper would be better, but we shall see. I'll get you set up. Easy. I'll work on the address and then start the other side. I don't think I needed the, the heat gun as long as my nails have just a little bit of a edge to them. So I'm able to pick at the vinyl sticker and then, you know what, it's coming right off. So the heat gun was probably just overkill. Um, Set all the vinyls off. Let's get a little isopropyl. See if we can get some of this remaining goo off. There's not much at all. I'm just cleaning it. All right. I think we are done. This came out great. Nice looking mailbox and uh, like I mentioned I'm gonna figure out how to get some uh, stickers for the front to put my house number on the front um, given the embossing of US mail and everything on the bottom here uh, I guess I'm kind of limited on the size of the numbers but that's fine
went to the local mailbox store and asked them to print up some new numbers for me. Uh, thought about doing this myself. I could have gone to my local library. They have a Cree cut machine. It's one of those, it's like a printer, but it has a little sharp blade and you could use it to cut out stencils and, and things. Um, but I, I didn't want to, uh, uh, I kind of wanted, I don't know, maybe a professional to do it. I don't know. He charged me 10 bucks, probably way overpaid for just a couple stickers. But then, then again, I would have had to buy a roll of vinyl and so on. Um, so what I want to do is I'm just going to clean this up uh, with a little bit of alcohol and then I will transfer the numbers over. So, I mean, I'll be able to like eyeball it, I think. It doesn't have to be. So, what we need to do is gently peel this transfer tape. Okay. It's already kind of stuck, but just uh, two and a half. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. It's going to look perfect. Now, I'm going to push on the vinyl. Another reason I went and, and bought these as opposed to making them myself, I wasn't sure what type of vinyl to use and I figured they know, they, they sell mailboxes. So with this transfer tape, I don't want to lift pull straight out because I don't want to detach the stickers if I keep them flat and go slow. Fantastic. I'm going to give everything a second coat of paint and then put these mailboxes back on. All these mailboxes box are a little bit crusty. I'm going to first see if I can just get a brush on these and clean it up a little bit before I paint. I don't know. We'll try. It's just water. Back with the kills again interior exterior I'm just gonna leave it with this I'm not gonna do a top coat and I've got just over a half a can left so I'm gonna use as much as I can within reason um, and I don't really need to do these tops too much since the mailboxes are gonna be on top of them but we'll figure it out we'll keep painting 
brush, this chip brush. I'm just gonna throw it away when I'm done. 99 cents, I think. Dollar. Make sure there's good coverage on the top. Once this part's exposed. going to keep going. Time to put the time to put the mailbox back on and um, with this board not fitting the entire base um, what I'm going to do is I've got longer screws these are two and a half inch number tens I believe and in order to kind of make sure I don't bend the frame what I did was I bought this uh, really thin PVC pipe it's like half inch in diameter cut up a small segment I'm gonna thread the screw through that and that way I can tighten against the pipe and the wood making it secure I don't know it should be fine we'll see how it goes Kind of like that. And then I got this uh, right angled doohickey. Uh, my driver bit. And so now I should be able to get in here. Should be able to get in there and uh, tighten it up. I just need a third hand. All right, all set, screwed in. That worked out really well. Kind of hard to see in the dark. Uh, but managed to get the four screws in, two on each side. This one as well. If I can fix it, so can you.